Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 30th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a couple of things. Firstly, we're going to learn to run checks on numbers and secondly, we're going to learn to use the if then elif as a selection construct in our shell scripts. So what I'm going to do is I have uh, my text editor here. I'm going to bring it up and uh, I've already saved this file as a test.sh in my home folder, right? So uh, what the script is going to do is it's going to ask the user to enter a number between 10 and 20 and then it's going to check if the number is less than 10. If it is, then it will display a message. It will then check if the number is greater than 20 and if it is, then it will display another message. And uh, lastly, it will display a message if the number is indeed between 10 and 20, right? So firstly, I'm going to use echo and I'm going to ask the user to enter a number. So this is going to be a message for the user and uh, enter a number between 10 and 20. This is what we're going to display. And uh, maybe I'll use the slash the escape sequencer. And then I'm going to use read to grab that input and I'm going to store the value uh, in a variable called num. Right? Now we have to uh, make our first check and we have to check whether the value is less than 10. And uh, the way we're going to do it is we're going to first use a pair of brackets. Right? And within the brackets, we're going to type in dollar num hyphen lt space 10. And we have to put a space immediately after the opening square bracket and also immediately before the closing square bracket. Right? And LT here stands for less than. So what this uh, thing is going to do is it's going to check whether the value stored in the variable num is less than 10. Okay. And uh, if the value is going to be less than 10, then we're going to display a message, right? So we're going to put the keyword if there. And on the next line, we will put the keyword then. And we'll display a message. What do I write? Uh, maybe that was under the belt partner. That's cool enough. On the next line, uh, we now have to check whether the value that has been entered is greater than 20, right? So obviously we're going to use another pair of uh, brackets and within the brackets, we're going to type in dollar num space hyphen gt this time and gt stands for greater than space 20 and then a space after 20 and a space uh, before dollar num right now this is the second check that we're doing in our script but this is not the final check right because the final check is to see whether the number is between 10 and 20 or not so since this is uh, an intermediate check between the if block and the else block we cannot use the keyword else here. Instead, we would have to use the keyword elif. And elif, uh, you can think of it as a combination of else and if. And you always place your elif uh, blocks between your if blocks and your else blocks. So if you have to make uh, more than a couple of checks in your uh, shell script, then you would have to use uh, elif blocks between the if block and the else block, right? And it works uh, pretty much the same as uh, if would. So on the next line, you'll have to use the keyword then again. And uh, on the next line, we'll display a message using echo that the value is uh, greater than 20 or uh, maybe something uh, peppy like uh, that went over my head. That's cool enough. On the next line, we have to enter our else block. That's why I'll put the keyword else there. And uh, we simply have to display a message now that the value is between 10 and 20. So instead of writing that, we'll uh, type in something like, uh, now you are making sense. There you go. Our shell script is almost ready now. It's just that I have to close my if block by putting the keyword fi. So I'll save the script and I'll bring up my terminal and I'll execute it. And uh, the shell asked me for a number, so I'm going to uh, put in 5 first. So when I input 5, it tells me that that was under the bed, right? I'll execute it again, and this time I'll put in 25. 
and it, it tells me that uh, that went over my head okay and I'll execute it once again and this time I'll type in 15 and now it tells me that I'm making some sense right so I'll uh, take you guys through the shell script once again first we ask the user to enter a number between 10 and 20 and then we store it in the variable num and then we checked whether the number was less than 10 uh, by using the hyphen LT operator and by putting the entire condition within square brackets and remember you have to put a space immediately before your square bracket and also immediately uh, after your opening square bracket right and uh, then we got into the else uh, sort the if block and we used the echo statement to display a message that the value was less than 10 right Next, we made another check to see if the value was greater than 20 or not, and this time we used the operator hyphen GT, right? And then we got into the elif block and we used echo to display another message. And uh, if the number was not less than 10, and if it was also not less than 20, then we would get into the else block to display that the number was indeed between 10 and 20, and that's why the user was making sense to our script, right? So uh, in this script, we have used uh, two operators, the hyphen LT operator and the GT operator, right? LT stands for less than and GT stands for greater than. But these are not the only two operators you have at your disposal. If you want to run an equality check, then you can use uh, EQ, right? So hyphen EQ would check if the number dollar $num is uh, equal to 10 or not, right? And if you want to see if a uh, number is less than equal to dollar ten, then you would have to use uh, LE. And if you wanted to check if uh, it was greater than equal to dollar ten, then you would have to use hyphen GE. And if you wanted to check where the number was not equal to dollar ten, then you would have to use uh, hyphen NE. How obvious is that? So I'm not gonna execute the script with these modifications. Instead, I would uh, suggest you guys to create a random shell script and uh, play with these operators and see how they work. And uh, these are really easy to remember, as you must have noticed. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, that's all I wanted to discuss in this tutorial. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're again gonna discuss something interesting. So stick with me. Uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, please subscribe to my channel.